In this video we will see how to create output templates to emulate different key presses, based on what you're scanning from the smartphone. If you want to use barcode to PC to type barcodes, into a spreadsheet, you'll just need to position the cursor in the desired cell, and then, scan from the smartphone. The server will automatically type the barcode and then will simulate an enter key press. But what if you need to scan in two different fields of a third party program? To do that, you can define your own output template so that barcode to PC will simulate the appropriate key presses in order to move the cursor inside the UI of your program. To edit an output template, open the server settings and scroll down. Here you can see the list of all possible keys and variables that you can emulate. If for example, you want to emulate a key press of the tab key and then scan a second barcode, you simply have to drag and drop those components from the Available Components field to the Output Template field. Note that every time that you'll do a scan from your smartphone all those components will be evaluated in the same order of which you put them here in the output field. Now click on apply to save the settings, and try to scan from the smartphone. As you can see, after that the smartphone has completed the acquisition, the server will type each component. You can use this technique to type in your existing programs, and put more tab components to move around the UI elements. If you're using barcode to PC for multiple scenarios, you may need to create more output templates. To do that, you have to enable the option called Show Advanced Settings, that is in the Server Settings. and then click the Add button. Now, every time you start a scan from the smartphone, it'll prompt you with the list of the available output templates you created. To find out more about output templates, and how to manipulate barcodes, check out the next video.